Hello friends on so many request i am finally starting calculations so today is the first video in this video we will cover basic calculations for pharmacy exam so the basic calculations you have to remember few things and then we as we move on more formulas and more things to remember will be come so first of all you have to remember these apothecaries and avoidoporous values for example 1 pound ounce the hum scruple grains pound uh, then fluid ounce fluid drum fluid scruple and minims these values are little different than what i learned when i was in pharmacy but the reference of these values is wikipedia i will give the link in my description box so in remington you will find little different but maybe um it's been 10 years that i was in pharmacy so things change and now i prefer these value the other things you have to remember for basic calculation is one meter is equals to 39.37 inches uh one fluid ounce is equals to 30 ml now i know that one fluid ounce is not exactly equals to 39 uh, sorry 30 ml rather it is equals to 29.6 but in exam you will have four options so when you calculate pick the one which is closest to the calculated value okay so for uh to make it easy just remember 1 fluid ounce is equals to 30 ml and 1 ounce is equals to 30 grams actually it is 31.1 gram but rounded up so that you can easily calculate in exam 1 kg is equals to 2.2 pounds pounds um you have to remember this and then this thing like 1 pound is equals to 1 divided by 2.2 0.45 you can calculate it by yourself in the exam you don't need to remember each value just remember 1 kg is equals to 2.2 pound 1 grain is equals to 65 mg and then 1 teaspoon is equals to 5 ml and then 1 tablespoon is equals to 15 ml so all the values apothecaries values and these things plus one more thing is this like tera is equals to 10 is to power 12 giga is equals to 10 is to power 9 mega is equals to 10 is to power 6 kilo is equals to 10 is to power 3 hecto is equals to 10 is to power 2 and deca is equals to 10 is to power 1 similarly deci is equals to 10 is to power minus 1 centi is equals to 10 is to min 10 is to power minus 2 milli is equals to 10 is to 10 is to power 3 minus 3 micro is equals to 10 is to power minus 6 nano is equals to 10 is to minus 9 pico is minus 12 the reference of this medicine uh, sorry the reference of this picture is wikipedia international system unit i will give the link in the description now after uh, memorizing these three slides we will move towards the some examples of basic conversions so first question is you receive a prescription order of a newly born infant whose weight is 10 pound however you the dose must be calculated in kilogram what will be the infant's weight in kilogram so simply you have to convert 10 pound into kilogram so if we remember 1 kg is equals to 2.2 pound or 
वन पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव के जी ऑप्शन आर फोर पॉइंट फाइव के जी फोर्टी फाइव के जी टेन के जी ट्वेंटी टू के जी टू पॉइंट टू के जी आंसर इज वन हाउ सो वन के जी इज इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट टू पाउंड वन पाउंड इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव के जी वैन वी मल्टीप्लाई जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव इंटू टेन दिस विल गिव यू फोर पॉइंट फाइव के जी सो द अदर एग्जाम्पल इज योर फैमिली डॉक्टर प्रिस्क्राइब वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ टाइलनॉल टू योर चाइल्ड वॉट विल बी द डोज इन एम एल दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट कन्वर्जन वन टेबल स्पून इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच एम एल सो ऑप्शन ए इज फिफ्टीन एम एल ऑप्शन बी इज फाइव एम एल ऑप्शन सी इज थर्टी एम एल ऑप्शन डी इज फोर्टी फाइव एम एल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इट इज फिफ्टीन एम एल नाउ क्वेश्चन थ्री A drug dose mentioned as one milligram per kg per day, BID. Please give extra importance to this frequency, like BID, TID, or one side once in a day, because it can affect your answer in the exam. The patient weighed twenty-two pound. How much dose that patient received per day? Remember that it's two times a day. So the option is five milligram per day. Option B, ten milligram per day. Option C, twenty milligram per day. Option D, five milligram per day. The answer is C. How? Like one kilogram is equals to two point two pound. One pound will be one point two. One divided by two point two kg. Now the patient weight is twenty-two pound, so twenty-two <clears throat> divided by two point two kg is equals to ten kg, or twenty-two multiplied by zero point four five kg, simple, which will give you nine point nine, approximately equals to ten kg. So in question, one milligram is for one kg, thus ten milligram for ten kg. This Dose frequency was BID. So ten into two is twenty milligram. So the answer is C. Next question is simple convert grain three is to four into milligram. Answer is A fifteen milligram. B thirty milligram, um, C forty five milligram, D forty nine milligram. Answer will be D. So one grain is equals to sixty five milligram. Three of three part of four milligram is equals to three by four multiplied by sixty five. It's forty eight point seven, which is closest to D. That's why the answer is D. similarly you will not get exact number but you have to choose the option which come closest to your calculated value the next example is ss this is the symbol of half half ounce of a drug is equals to how many ml 5 ml 10 ml, 15 ml, 20 ml. If you remember that one fluid ounce is equals to 30 ml, so half ounce will be equal to 15 ml. So the answer is C. That's the explanation for the answer. Now one more question is J S your regular patient with following profile. Age is thirty five years old. Weight one eighty pounds. Current medical condition is congestive heart failure. 
and severe edema. He admitted to emergency this morning. Doctor gave frusamide IV infusion. After discharge, JS weight was 137 pounds. How many kilogram patient weight is lost? Please uh, give special attention with the units in exam. So option A is 17 kg. Option B is 3.2 kg. Option C is 3.2 pound. Option D is 7 kg. So the answer is B, 3.2 kg. How? If the patient is one, uh, 180 pounds in the beginning and on discharge it was 137 pounds, so 7 pounds lose. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pound and 1 pound is equal to 1 divided by 2.2 kg. So 7 pound will be 7 divided by 2.2 and it comes 3.2 kg. That's the explanation. Last question. A patient prescription mentioned 25 ml of a medication dose. What would you teach him to take? So if somebody has to take 25 ml, you have option 5 tablespoon, 5 teaspoon, 2 tablespoon, 1 teaspoon. If you remember, 1 tablespoon is equal to 15 ml, while 1 teaspoon is equal to 5 ml. So 5 5 is 25, so it will be B. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Thank you.